Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another little bit different vlog or not even vlog but video than usual because um, I had a viewer request that I do a after shower hair care routine. So that is sort of what I'm going to be doing today. Honestly, I don't do much with my hair. Um, but one of the biggest things that I do do to keep it from breaking down quicker, like from the ends breaking down quicker, I only wash my hair typically two times a week. So I will go like three days between washing my hair. Um, I'll take showers more often than that, <laughs> obviously, and like I'll get my hair wet in the shower even when I don't wash it, but I do not always wash my hair in the shower. So I did wash my hair today, I just got done washing it, and what I did when I washed it today is I took aloe. I mixed it with some water, I kind of lathered my hair in that and let it sit for 10 minutes. Then without rinsing that out first, I take my shampoo and shampoo my hair like normal, just as you would if it was just wet with water. And then um, I rinse all of that out before I condition my hair, <laughs> which is what I did afterwards. So um, that is something I do every once in a while. I honestly can't tell you if it makes a difference or not like I don't know if it'll make a difference on your hair but it always makes my hair feel like so soft and kind of like I don't know um, I, don't, I honestly don't know but I love it I think it's fabulous what I do after I wash my hair um I have a brush right do I own a, Annabelle, do I own a brush? I thought I owned a brush. Let's see, y'all. I thought it was in here. This is the problem. I'll be back. All right, I got my brush. This brush is absolutely disgusting. It is completely wrapped in hair. But basically, what I do is I let my hair dry about halfway. And I don't touch it really until then I don't brush it until then but when it is halfway dry which in the great state of Arizona dries pretty dang quick um, that is when I brush it so I basically start with the ends and one other thing that I think the aloe does do for my hair is it kind of acts as a detangler for it and I don't have science behind that I don't know if that's necessarily true but it seems to be true. It seems to work for me at least. Unless my conditioner is just that good. But I've never had a conditioner that leaves my hair this nice. So, and yes, it is not all the way detangled. So like as you can see, this hair, this is dry. As I brush it, it dries pretty quickly. Um, but like obviously this hair is pretty... Thin. It doesn't have a ton of layers right here, whereas in the back there's definitely more thickness to it. And like I said, the aloe doesn't do everything for it, but in my opinion, it does help quite a bit, even with this stuff that I have, which is not necessarily meant for hair. Um, I like it. I really like it. So. My hair is brushed. Um, as you can see, it is, it's hair, you know? So there's not really much more that I do with it. Um, one thing that I also do to keep my hair nice is when I'm sleeping, I will either put it in like a loose bun on top of my head 
so my like when I move around at night my body isn't like <laughs> rolling over my hair and pulling it away from my head because honestly when I used to leave it in ponytails um, or even down I would wake up with so much hair just like around my pillow just because I move a lot at night and so it ends up ripping it out and it is so uncomfortable also I try not to keep my hair in ponytails for very long because they are kind of hard on my hair at least um, there's a good chance that you have stronger hair <laughs> than I do and that it won't pull it out as easily as it does with mine but that's just kind of how my hair works and I work out three times a week for um, what is it an hour and a half yeah an hour and a half so that whole time my hair is in a ponytail so a lot of times um, I will not keep my hair in that ponytail all day I'll either put it in a bun which kind of just keeps like it's still in a ponytail you still wrap a ponytail around it for the most part um, but it keeps it on top of your head it keeps it from pulling and so I think that has helped me a lot um, not only with my hair not falling out as much but also with headaches so if you do have a lot of headaches it could be that you're having your hair pulled too hard <laughs> but um, it could be that when your hair is up that the weight of it especially when it's in a ponytail is pulling it really hard and I realized that that did give me headaches quite often so I kind of stopped putting in ponytails as much as I could but obviously some days there's just lazy days where ponytail is just the way to go in that case that's what I do I do not get my hair cut very often I cut my hair on my own um, a couple months ago and I cut around six inches off because that was the amount of damaged hair that I had and obviously the ends weren't all damaged up to six inches but um they're because of the funky layers I had in my hair um the shortest layer the ends were damaged to about where the longest layer reached six inches so that's how much hair I cut off but I do plan on getting my hair cut within the next couple of months but just a trim rather than a whole six inches because I like to keep my hair long I like the look of my hair long and I don't really like cutting my hair very often I don't see the point of it so once my ends start to start breaking again which really they look great right now which is pretty impressive um, but when they st do start to break again, that is when I will think about getting a hair trim and whether I go to a salon to get that done or do it myself again, I don't know, but I will let you know. Um, if you guys do want to go watch the vlog where I cut my own hair, I'm pretty sure it's titled, I cut my own hair and it was like my 123rd vlog or something like that so you can go back and watch that it's pretty funny because it was kind of just like a rash decision it was 10 o'clock at night and I just decided that I was gonna cut my hair because I wanted to get my hair cut for a while so that happened and yeah I hope this was somewhat informative to some of you um, I guess for the most part it is really just me saying that you can have nice hair without doing much to it and sometimes even doing less to it like washing it less can help because when you wash your hair every day it does start to break it down um, and shampoo does get rid of the natural oils in your hair that keep it healthy I believe is how it works so that's why I kind of decided to go down to um, Honestly, sometimes it's only one time a week, but most of the time it's two or three times a week. So how I did it was I went, um, when I started to kind of elongate the time between washing my hair, the first time that I did it, my hair was greasy by the second time that I washed it. So I'd wash it one day, wait three days, wash it the next day. And so I'd go like four days or three days without washing my hair. 
and by the time I washed it that second time it was so greasy but then I went another three days before washing my hair again and it was a little greasy but not bad um, then the next time when I did it I went another three days and by that time that I washed my hair my hair was barely greasy at all so your body kind of takes over and does what you want it to do for you so it is possible I hope you guys know that um, I do know that if you work out and you sweat a lot that makes it pretty difficult because your sweat will basically make your hair greasy on its own and so that's kind of frustrating but these are just kind of my tips that I have for people um, I'm not crazy about <laughs> hair care or anything like that but this is what I do and this is what works for me and I have dyed my hair in the past I haven't dyed it in a while um, it's probably been two and a half years since I've dyed my hair so from here to here I'd say maybe here is all undyed natural colored hair and yeah so my hair has been pretty healthy obviously your hair is still gonna fall out that's just part of the process of being a human I guess you could say and yeah I hope this helped you guys um, I don't do much but honestly I do <laughs> basically the least that you could do for <laughs> someone who has relatively healthy hair so I hope this helped you guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a good day or good night wherever you are whenever you're watching this and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.